we are very, very thorough, very knowledgeable and good team and making sure we are providing the best information possible and very, very detailed. We use drones as well for a roof inspection. Like I said, there's always, always, always things to learn. There's code updates, there's multiple trades that we're learning. Good afternoon, welcome back. Kent Beam with Nine Business Group and Elevate Your Business Spotlight Interview. We have Ryan Irvin joining us today. Ryan, welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself. More importantly, introduce your company. What you guys doing? What sets you apart from the competition? Ryan, welcome. Hi, Kent. Thanks for having me. My name is Ryan. My company is Quantum Property Inspections. As you can see here, the label on my shirt. Uh, so I've been, uh, I started quantum property inspections in 2018. I wanted to get out of, get out of the trades, uh, get away from the uh, camp dates based lifestyle, spend more time at home with my kids, that sort of thing, and have uh, a company of my own that I could put my own uh, efforts and creativity into. And i am very successful since we began. And, um, I've managed to grow the company to you know, multiple inspectors and part-time assistant. And uh, what sets us apart from the competition is that we are very, very, very thorough. Very thorough, very knowledgeable. I have a good team of uh, their inspectors that have very solid knowledge base. Uh, we're always in touch with each other. Um, and making sure we are providing the best information possible and very, very detailed. That's another thing that does set us in this report. All right, so let's, let's pick on that for a second. You mentioned thorough. How would a regular consumer, Joe Q Public, buying their first house or buying their second house, how would they recognize or what questions could they ask to better understand what it means for a home inspector or a property inspector to be thorough? I, I think one place to start is if you are using a realtor, they will hopefully have some suggestions for you of other inspectors that they know to be thorough or dependable. Um, that's not always the case though. Another way is Google reviews. Uh, you know, a lot of people will have a good Google review base and uh, people will, you know, let you know how well their home inspector did on Google. Um, another way to know is looking at sample reports online. You can compare sample reports. You can go to different home inspection company web pages and hopefully they do have sample reports available that you can read through, see the differences in reporting styles. And uh, reading the standards of practice that's one thing every home inspection company abides by standards of practice which uh, outlines what is included in an, ins an inspection and what is not included in an inspection but typically um, there's a few places inspectors do and don't go that are pretty typical to a home inspection like a roof an attic and a crawl space um, a lot of home inspectors won't go anywhere near a roof especially in the winter and they just fly a drone. Now that's not to say that there's anything wrong with a drone. We use drones as well for a roof inspection. Many uh, of occasions that that's necessary, but if it's a smaller, lower roof, you know, we always try our best to get on that roof. And then same thing with crawl spaces. A lot of people don't want to throw on coveralls and a mask or in attics, get a, you know, get up inside an attic and get dirty. But uh, those can be pretty critical places where you can find some expensive repairs that you don't want to overlook. Uh, that is very helpful. Thank you very much. So you've been at this for about half a dozen years now, you said. Um, when you look back, is there anything you've learned kind of in the last year or maybe in the back half of building the company that you wish you would have known on day one? That you kind of went, man, I wish Ryan would have learned that sooner. Is that the quintessential lesson that you kind of took a while to figure out or came to you late in the process that it's like, man, I wish I would have had that nugget earlier on. Um, there's hopefully when you're first starting out, you have the basics at, at a minimum of like the most, the most critical items that you should know uh, for providing a home inspection service. But there is always, always, always more information that's always coming in little things that you're learning about the different trades because we are generalists 
that have to know as much as possible about every single individual trade, which adds, adds up to a lot of information. So I run into it a lot. Like, dang, you know, I wish I would have known about this little, uh, you know, building code or this tidbit of information a long time ago. Uh, but usually those things are, you know, not major critical um, pieces of information that are going to cause major problems for people if you hadn't caught it or it's starting out. But like I said, there's always, always, always things to learn. There's code updates. There's, you know, like I said, multiple trades that we're learning from all the time. Thank you. So when you look back over six years of building a company, what has been the biggest challenge you've had to overcome and what does it look like today that wasn't technical related, more business related? Uh, the biggest thing is has been growing the company and, I mean, starting out um, doing all the jobs. So, I mean, I'm, you know, and I'm still doing all the jobs, but like, that, and, and that means like financing and scheduling and sales and marketing and business development. So trying to tackle all of those things at the same time and then growing the company to find, you know, people that are, you know, qualified and interested that you can, uh, and you have to figure out how, a way to pass off the work that you've been doing off to those people, um, which is, yeah, it's difficult. It's, it's the struggle to grow a company because you kind of need everything all at once. So you have to, to have big baby steps when you're doing it. So in summary, the, the challenge really is no different for most of the entrepreneurs, which is, uh, be the technical expert, be the sale, yeah. be the vice president of sales and marketing, onboard clients, be the finance manager, be the HR, be the recruiter, the trainer, and the main operator and the owner. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, well, welcome to entrepreneurship one hundred and one. Um, appreciate the insight. Uh, when you look at your business today, if there is a pirate or a thief in your business. What would they be stealing from you? A pirate or a thief in my business, they would be stealing contacts um, because uh, they can. You, you can hire somebody, train them to do the job, and then they could turn around, quit, go start their own company, and then the people that you've introduced them to, your you know, like realtors in the business and other past clients, you know, they can take those referrals with. That has happened to many other home inspection companies in the past. So it's something you have to keep in mind. Um, and that's why you have to draw up uh, an appropriate contract between you and any employee or contractor between your business and cool. all awesome. your secrets beforehand. It's a tough one. You know, it's everything from you need them to grow the business, uh, both the team members and the contacts and the referral partners. Um, and I think at the end of the day, we hope that uh, uh, both the referral partners and the employees do have that code of ethics and how important it is to hire them right, train them, but have that place where they want to feel home, where they feel comfortable to work and to do work in so they don't leave. And that's, I think that is the the tough one for all of us to, as we depend upon people, we build a trust relationship is to maintain it and, and want them to be in part of it as well. Um, so, now that you've been around for five, six years, you've had some team members, you have some team members. When you look ahead five, 10, 15 years, what does success look like for you in the in the future version of Ryan? Well, I'm hoping to, my next step is to find another inspector that can kind of take the lead and that I can train to do all the things that I can and then have them like I said, take the lead, be the main inspector going out there, and then myself doing half as many inspections during any given week, and then spending a lot more time on the back end where I can, you know, reduce my role as the technician and increase my role in sales and marketing and business development. And then again, you know, take more steps towards helping, uh, finding other people to help me on the back end. Um, developing you know that side of things and um, more of the you know more like I said more people to handle the back 
specialized so more on doing the, sales um, and business development. Thank you. Uh, there was a pause there, sorry, I didn't mean to talk over top, top of you. Um, so it's really about developing the team, adding team members, both on the operational side and the admin side. So do you think in five or 10 years, have you defined how many employees you want? Is it five? Is it 25? How big do you want this thing to go on? I would, my goal, my goal is 10 inspectors between Edmonton and Calgary, maybe five in Edmonton, maybe five in Calgary, or, you know, somewhere around there, maybe one or two in central Alberta. And so that's my goal. And then maybe once I, you know, get to that point, I can completely step away from the, the front end technical technician side of going out doing inspection inspections and focus on the back end and then maybe work from there to other provinces. Cool. Love it. I love the big vision. That's uh, one of my favorites. I, uh, in that space of entrepreneurs wanting to get off the tools uh, and have a business that works without them is, is a ton of fun to do and build. And I think that's what I want all my clients and people to do to be able to have a business that's successful. So the last and most important question, the shameless self-plug, Ryan, uh, for those in the space who are currently realtors looking for a better inspector, for people looking to buy or sell a home that want to put an inspector on Rolodex, where can they find you where they get more information? Um, our website is quantuminspections.ca, or if you do a search for Home Inspector in Central Alberta, we are the top-rated home inspection company. There, five-star reviews, 300 and something reviews. We have lots of information there that people can find from previous uh, clients. And same thing in Calgary. If you search for Calgary or Edmonton, if you search for quantum property inspections, you'll find our Google profiles there. Cool. Thank you very much, Ryan. Keep up the good work. We're looking forward to hearing the rest of the story. Great. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for having me.